What do you think about when you're by yourself? The problem though is that we are hardly by ourselves nowadays. In a world where every single thing is demanding our attention, let's be honest, we are more than happy to just give it away. Take me for example. I work all day and when I'm not working, I'm watching something or listening to something. Music while doing the dishes, podcast while working out, spending time in silence, what even is that? I've reached a stage of information fatigue where my brain is just tired of the constant input but my body is unable to stop. <sighs> and that's when I know it's time to do the dopamine detox. If this is the first time you're hearing this term, dopamine detox is basically a day where you spend time with yourself away from all the distractions, away from all the things that will give you quote unquote pleasure. And no, dopamine detox does not mean that you're detoxing the neurotransmitter dopamine from your brain. It does not work that way. There is so much misinformation about the dopamine detox. But for the sake of this video, I'm not going to go into the scientific aspect of it. Rather, I'll be focusing on my experience. So here are the rules for the dopamine detox. No working, no studying, no phone, no social media, no internet. No alcohol, no cigarettes, no drugs, no porn, no masturbation, no junk food. This much is usually sufficient, but if you want to level up even more, then no food, no food of any kind, no reading and no music. This is the version that I will be doing. Why? I don't know. Call me nuts. So what can you do? You can journal, you can meditate, you can talk to people, you can go for a walk. You can drink water, you can take a nap, and that's it, I think. So I obviously woke up pretty late since I didn't have anything, literally anything to do that day. I just took my own sweet time lazing around. After making my bed, I grabbed a glass of water and just sat there drinking for like 10 minutes. Wow, this day has just started and it's so boring already. I love it. I am feeling hungry. It's been what, like 15 hours or something since I last ate. Then I took a nice long hot bath and got ready to, well, to do nothing. At this point, I was expecting to get hit with the urge to check my phone or my laptop, but surprisingly, I did not. I was completely fine. Of course, I was a little bored, but other than that, I was actually pretty content in the moment. Unexpectedly, my problem was not the phone or the laptop. I was feeling hungry, like really, really, really hungry. I do 16 to 20 hours intermittent fasting on a pretty regular basis. So I thought 36 hours without food would not be a great deal. Turns out I was wrong. This was an even bigger test of my willpower. I was so hungry, like food was all I could think about, but I still decided to just stick with it and ride the wave. This is also a test of my willpower and 36 hours without food is not a big deal. It's completely fine. It's completely manageable. And I did a lot of journaling. By a lot, I mean a lot. I'm loving you, that's why I'm loving you 
You're taking control of my head. Oh, you're different in ways than I like. But we're laying down in the sand, girl. The stars never look so bright. If you feel it true, then just say so. I'll make you feel good tonight. I'll make you feel good tonight. In the evening, I tried to spend some time with my mom and it was so difficult to convince her to turn off the TV like oh, <laughs> Indian moms are their serials I tell you. And it was even more difficult to convince her that I don't want anything to eat. Khaila diuka, khaila diuka, khaila diuka. Oh my god! It was anyway difficult for me because I was so hungry and this was just... I was wrong. This was the sure test of my willpower. But your girl pushed through. I did not eat a bite and I was actually pretty proud of that. Of course, I'm not endorsing this. This is like a one-off thing. Please, trigger warning for everybody who has eating disorders. Don't do anything like this. But it was just good to know that I could have that amount of control over my brain and my body and my emotions. And by the end of the day, I felt so nice. I felt so at peace. The journaling that I did throughout the day, it really helped me get some clarity on some of the issues that I was facing. I've already touched upon this topic a little bit in my previous video but basically if you're feeling overwhelmed in your life if you're feeling information fatigue usually as humans we try to escape that but nowadays a way of escaping that is just to distract ourselves with social media and phone and indulge in all the well not so good activities such as eating junk food and alcohol and cigarettes and drugs and whatnot and those things can provide a momentary distraction but the overwhelm in your life is not going to go away and when you come out of that zone you look at your life you feel overwhelmed again and the cycle continues and the only way to break that cycle is through introspection you need to take some time out of your life to think about your life and this day this dopamine detox will give you exactly that so just try it out for 24 hours. If 24 hours seem to be a lot, try it for 3 hours. If 3 hours seem to be a lot, try it for an hour. But do try it definitely. And then come back and tell me, what do you think about when you're by yourself?